Do you find yourself reaching for a blank piece of cardstock? You feel stuck, you don't know where to get started, and you're just like, okay, I really need some creative inspiration to jumpstart. Today I'm gonna share my top tips to using some square and decorative dies that will allow you to create beautiful interactive cards very easily, quickly, and for all occasions. The first die we're gonna use is the Stairway Gardens die. It has seven pieces. You can layer this many different ways to create unique looks. Here are just a couple different ways that you can create with it. Um, I'm going to show how it is created with using all the pieces together. Um, so I just took a six by six white piece of cardstock. I taped some of the pieces in already. You just finish that off by just laying those um, rest of those dies in there. You could totally cut this out without this section so you can kind of play around with it. Um, super fun uh, creative designs happen when you um, eliminate some elements or when you do all, um, all of the dies together. Um, so this one is using every single die within the set. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just run this through the machine. Now I am running this through uh, my Vagabond. This is a six by six die. And what I love about this die is you can also use it for smaller size cards, which I'll show you in a little bit. I am going to put a shim on top because this is an intricate die. So we wanna make sure that cuts out very um, thoroughly. So we're just gonna run that through um, and just cut that out real quick. So when that comes out, before I release anything, I always like to double check and make sure everything is cut out very beautifully before I release any of those pieces, which that is. So all you have to do is just lift this up and you have all these pieces that are all cut out, which is super, super fun. Um, so with this, I had all the pieces in the center, so that center square came out, um, which is this die cut piece in here. And then that creates a piece that will look like this when all those pieces are popped out, except the center is cut out as well. And you can use it on a card base, something similar to this. Or if you wish, you can just use a couple pieces and make a smaller card for a very simple, quick, and elegant card. The next die is called Courtyard Elegance. This has seven pieces as well, super versatile, and we're going to go through a couple different cuts with this one. Here you can see a basic variation of different ways you can cut with this and have some fun. Um, you could use these pieces individually or just stack them on top of each other to make a very super dimensional card. Um, so to get started with this, I'm just gonna use the two outer pieces. Um, so you can go ahead and um, just layer those down. I used a six by six card base um, so that I can run that through my machine. Now what's great about these is yes, this is a six by six. It creates those beautiful cards very quickly. But if you love to create smaller cards, you have that option as well. And I'll show you a smaller version of this one as well. Um, I am going to add another piece of tape on this side to just Make sure that does not move while we run it through. Now, for this one, it is a complete intact piece all the way around. So I do like to make sure I give this a bunch of pressure. Uh, depending on what machine you have, you might need to run it through a couple times just because you have a large square die with very intricate pieces. Um, and that just kind of depends on the pressure your specific machine has. So we'll run that through. And while that's going through, I just wanna show you a beautiful card where I layered that circle on top. Um, so it makes a simple, stunning card very quickly um, with all that delicate lace in the background. So we'll just do a double check on this one, make sure everything is cut out beautifully. 
I'm not gonna take the time to cut out, to pop out all the pieces, but just using these two will create this cut right in here. Now your next step, you could do a couple different things. You could go ahead and you could just layer this die right in the center. Um, and if you do that, you'll get a cut that will look like this. I'm going to layer this circle in the middle. We're gonna tape that down, just position it. Um, and then I'm going to use this very, very skinny circle die and we're going to lay that right around the outer edge and that will release that circle from the center. Um, so we'll run that through and I will again uh, put a shim right over the top of that one um, and run that through our machine. You could have also at this point added the little square in the middle if you wanted a square opening. Um, but with this, you can also use this at an angle on an A2 size card and get a completely different look, more like an envelope flap. So that's a fun way to create with that. So again, when this comes out, just double check um, that cut out. I see that, ah, oh, it's not cut quite through, so I'll just remove that. You could alternate that on to your plates, run it through, and that will cut out very beautifully. So you have a circle that looks like this. You could have added the square so you had a cutout like this as well. So lots of fun options with that. Another die within this collection that pairs beautifully with the Black Friday cards and dies we released is the rounded scallop window die. This one has five pieces and cuts out very beautifully. Just lots of different ways to pair that together. You could add a ribbon, you could space it so you could add a sentiment in the center. You can do a half cut of either variation of this um, die and you can also do kind of a window um, form with that as well. Some samples I created with this was using the circle full card and using one half of that um, die along with the circle edge and the dark purple. So that makes a really fun, beautiful card. You can also use it on smaller A2 size cards as a side flap, which is a fun, great way to create with those two. The last die within this set is the Islet Royale set. This one has six pieces. There's two different distinct styles plus a frame that is very beautiful and creates lots of versatility. So with this one, you can do six by six, but you can do some fun things, altering it to create beautiful looks with that as well. So I wanna show you some variations um, with this one. So you have that beautiful cutout piece on kind of a stair step card like this. Um, so you have the piece on the top, you can keep it open, put another one down here. Um, or if you use that same piece, you shorten the card, you can do like a simple side flap or bottom flap, add your sentiment, a couple flowers, very simple and elegant. Another die design within there, you can do double, add your flowers, you could add your sentiment, it's fun and good to go. Um, another way that we used the stairway gardens um, is just a side fold on a six by six, just using two pieces and then adding the little square in the center so that creates a very fun card as well. Okay. Using these techniques paired with your creative imagination will allow you to create those stunning, elegant cards that will still look like you spent so much time creating. Now, if you don't have these dies yet, I've added the links below for quick and easy ordering, so get, make sure to get yours ordered today. And if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to get subscribed so you don't miss out on my next video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you next time. Bye.